catastrophic climate change to hostile aliens, Hollywood routinely envisions apocalyptic endings to humanity's time on planet Earth. These are five of the most likely ways that everything that we have established as a species will come to an end. It's the basis behind many disaster movies, but scientists are legitimately worried that a space rock could wipe out Earth. A meteorite probably doomed the dinosaurs, and in the Tugnuska event, a massive meteorite damaged about 770 square miles of the Siberian forest in 1908. Even more frightening, perhaps, is that astronomers only know about a fraction of the space rocks lurking in our solar system. The fear of an overpopulated globe has been around since the 18th century. When Thomas Malthus predicted that population growth would cause mass starvation and overtax the planet. With the global population at 7 billion and counting, many conservationists think that population growth is one of the key threats to the planet. Of course not everybody agrees, many think population growth will stabilise in the next 50 years and that humanity will innovate its way through the negative consequences of the overcrowding that has occurred. Many scientists are still worried about the classic end of the world threat, global nuclear war. Beyond North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's saber-rattling and Iran's secretive nuclear efforts, massive stockpiles of nuclear weapons around the globe could wreak destruction if they were to get into the wrong hands. Last year, the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, a non-technical magazine on global security founded in 1945 by a former Manhattan Project physicist, moved the doomsday clock to five minutes to midnight. The doomsday clock shows how close humanity is to destruction by nuclear or biological weapons or global climate change. The mother of all apocalyptic fears, climate change, is said by many scientists to be the biggest threat facing the planet. Climate change could make extreme weather more severe, increase droughts in some areas. Though each of these scenarios could happen, most scientists think that a snowball effect of multiple events is most likely to be the cause of our planet's destruction. For instance, global warming could increase the prevalence of pathogens whilst also causing widespread shifts in climate. Meanwhile, ecosystem collapse could make it slightly harder to produce food, with no bees to pollinate crops, or trees to filter agricultural water. So instead of an epic catastrophe, several relatively small factors might slightly worsen life on Earth until it gradually falls apart. In that scenario, the downfall of Earth is not dramatic, like being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger. It's more like being nibbled to death by ducks. But perhaps just as the hourglass runs out for our species time on this planet, we will have evolved to a level of intelligence that will allow us to escape and thrive in some other part of the universe, carrying the story of our humble green and blue planet with us. So how do you think the world will end? Let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to keep in touch on all my social media sites. The links are in the description. See you next time.